Do you find yourself struggling to get through to your front side, maybe falling back on your golf shots a lot? I'm gonna show you why that happens and give you a great tip to improve your weight shift. When we've measured tour players here in our lab, we use force plate data to see how they shift their weight. And what we find is they average about 80% of their weight is on their lead leg at point of contact with a seven iron. Most of the golfers that I teach are falling back by that point and end up on their back foot. The root cause of that is a lot of times ball position. Many golfers have learned that they're supposed to play the seven or eight iron in the middle, maybe the nine iron or wedge back of center. And when you do that and you make a pivot, the ball is now back of your vision. And especially if you put a little reverse pivot in it, like a lot of golfers do, then you end up falling back to hit the ball. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the golf ball, even with your pitching wedge nine iron, get it ahead of center, move it up toward about a club head length inside the left foot. And if I set up properly with a little spine angle, so I'm behind the ball, now when I swing back, I wanna go get that ball. and I move through much better to my left foot. Now here's a really simple drill you can do on the range to work on that. Take a couple tees, put them on the ground, make a little line out of them, narrower than the club head, and learn to make some swings. Again, keep them forward of center, make some swings back, and figure out how to get yourself forward enough to hit the ground ahead of the tees, okay? So we're gonna make swings and hit the ground in front of those tees. So if you take this little drill to the range, get the ball position a little more forward, I bet you'll strike your irons a lot better, I bet you won't fall back anymore, and you're gonna have a lot more fun with golf.